Welcome back to Infigan friends. In today's video, we have another very interesting question from radical equations. Equation is x plus square root 60 minus x over 18 minus x equal to 4. And we are going to calculate real solutions. So let's get started by writing our denominator cannot be 0. So x cannot be 18. Now I will take away x from both sides. So square root 60 minus x over 18 minus x will be equal to 4 minus x. Or I can write square root 60 minus x equal to 4 minus x times 18 minus x. If I will take minus 1 common from this bracket and minus 1 common from this bracket, then I can write minus times minus becomes plus. So x minus 4 times x minus 18. And LHS is square root 60 minus x. Now I will take average value or mean value of these two numbers. So 4 plus 18 over 2. This is coming out 22 over 2 or 11 which will give us clue for substitutions. So let us consider x minus 11 equal to y. Or I can write x is equal to y plus 11. Let us apply x equal to y plus 11 to our equation. So I can write square root 60 minus x equal to x minus 4 times x minus 18. Now substitution is x is equal to y plus 11. Let's apply square root 60 minus y minus 11 equal to y plus 11 minus 4 y plus 11 minus 18. So I can write 60 minus 11, 49 minus y. RHS will be y plus 7 times y minus 7. Now I can write one identity from algebra. a plus b times a minus b equal to a square minus b square. Let us apply here. So I can write the square root 49 minus y. This will be equal to y square minus 7 square or 49. Now I will consider squaring both sides. So let us write power 2 here also power 2. So left hand side is square root and square will be over. So I can write 49 minus y equal to y square minus 49 whole square. Let me write this equation here. 49 minus y equal to y square minus 49 whole square. Now I will take away y square from both sides. So I will be writing minus y square here and minus y square here. Now you can see LHS will become 49 minus y minus y square. And RHS it is again a square minus b square form. So we can write a plus b. So y square minus 49 plus y and a minus b. So y square minus 49 minus y. I can take minus common from here. So it will become y square plus y minus 49. 
and RHS will be y square plus y minus 49. y square minus y minus 49. Take all the terms to RHS. So I can write y square plus y minus 49 product with y square minus y minus 49 and then our LHS with change of sign y square plus y minus 49 equal to 0. Now you can see this bracket is common. So I can write y square plus y minus 49 and in other bracket we will write what is left y square minus y minus 49 plus 1 equal to 0 or y square plus y minus 49 times y square minus y minus 48 equal to 0. Now conclusion from here, we can write directly both the brackets equal to 0, y square plus y minus 49 equal to 0, first bracket and second bracket it was y square minus y minus 48 equal to 0. Now we have two quadratic equations. I will apply quadratic formula. So y will be equal to minus b plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac so plus 196 divided by 2a so 2. Further I can write minus 1 plus minus square root 197 divided by 2. Two values of y. Now second quadratic, I can write y equal to minus b, so 1 plus minus is square root b square, minus 1 is square plus 1, minus 4ac, so plus 192 divided by 2a, so 2. So 1 plus minus is square root 193 over 2. If I will write all the four values, let me write here separately y equal to, I will be writing minus 1 plus square root 197 over 2, minus 1 minus square root 197 over 2, this is over. Now I can write 1 plus square root 193 over 2 and 1 minus square root 193 over 2. Now I will conclude from our equation. Let me write our equation once. It was square root 60 minus x. This was equal to x minus 4 times x minus 18. So two important points I will write from LHS and RHS. From LHS this radicand should be positive. From RHS this product should be greater than 0. So from LHS I can write x should be less than 60. First condition. And second condition would be from RHS x should be less than 4 and x should be greater than 18. This is in terms of x. Now I want to convert it into y as we have calculated four values of y. So our substitution was x is equal to y plus 11. So I will be writing our first condition in place of x y plus 11 should be less than 60. So y should be less than 49 condition on y. From these two, 
I can write y plus 11 should be less than 4. So y should be less than negative 7. And from here y plus 11 should be greater than 18. So y should be greater than 7. Now I will write the intersection of these three. If I will consider all together, then I can write y should be in the interval. Let me write here y should be minus infinity to minus 7 or 7 to 49. Let me write our y values once. y was minus 1 plus root 197 over 2 minus 1 minus root 197 over 2 then it was 1 plus root 193 over 2 and then 1 minus root 193 over 2. Now we have to only check the interval of y. So if I will calculate the approximate value then this is 6.5. Second value is somewhere around minus 7.5. Third value is 7.44. Fourth value is negative 6.49. Now our answer should be in the interval. It should not be in the interval minus 7 to 7. So we can reject from there itself. So this will be rejected and last one will be rejected. So only these two values we will accept means this is our solution in terms of y and this is our solution in variable y. Now I will substitute y is equal to x minus 11. So let me write here x minus 11 equal to minus 1 minus root 197 over 2 comma. 1 plus square root 193 over 2. Now I will add 11 to both sides. Let us add. So I will be writing here x is equal to minus 1 minus root 197 over 2 plus 11 and 1 plus square root 193 over 2 plus 11. So I can consider minus 1 plus 22. So it will become 21 minus square root 197 over 2. This is our first solution which we will accept. And second solution will be 1 plus 22. So 23 plus square root 193 over 2 this would be our final and real solutions. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Goodbye.